<laughs> Morning, guys. Oh. So, um, bought a car. This is, this is it. We've not named him yet, because we only bought him yesterday. Um, he's a 1991 Mitsubishi Pajero. 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 Who knows? Um, we got it for two thousand seven hundred dollars, and I'm vlogging you now. Vlogging you. <laughs> I'm vlogging now. <laughs> I'm vlogging now um, because we're about to take it to get a roadworthy, which is like an MOT. Um, I'll explain about the roadworthies and rego and all that stuff after. But I'm still happy at the moment because they haven't told us what's wrong with it yet. So I'm going to show you now whilst I still like it. <laughs> so we've got seven seats. This is the interior, uh, like so. Um, in the back there, we've got four mud tires because we had to put the road tires. Yes, yes, we have mud tires on road tires. We had to put the road tires on for the roadworthy. So we've got four mud tires in the back here. <laughs> the seven seater all together. So it's a tank. <laughs> oh my god! It's it's a three liter six cylinder. So it's gonna burn petrol like whatever like so much in the city but I think when we get out on the on the road on the big roads on the big boy roads it'll be okay us again <laughs> so just driven like 20 something minutes to North Sunshine which I think might be a bit rough I'm not sure the wreckers there um, and obviously I didn't really think it through so I've just dropped the car off and he's like yeah come back later sometime this afternoon so the bus to get us home is going to take like two hours. <laughs> so <laughs> we're just walking around this industrial estate like, mm, where should we go? So yeah, we'll have to try and find something that's around here. This looks really promising. Guys, we escaped back to civilization. We're now in sunshine. We've got the bus about 20 minutes um, oh, in sunshine. <laughs> And it's all right. It's real hot today. Um, so we get some breakfast. But this is what we're looking at right now. We're now at uh, Selena, which is some um, Vietnamese place in um, Sunshine. And this is what you see a lot in Melbourne. Vietnamese pork. Well, normally it's Vietnamese pork roll. But they do chicken roll, etc. And it's this. So it's. Um, I've got barbecue chicken and they put a load of fresh salad in it. Um, so it's like spring onion, cucumber, onion, carrot, coriander, it tastes real fresh. Um, and I've got this iced coffee drink which I couldn't pronounce so I just said D5. And she didn't speak English and she had to get a mate and it was all a bit too much. Um, but yeah, this is four dollars. So for two of these rolls, this drink and two, those two drinks, sixteen dollars bar again and we found a shopping mall over there so we might go and um, have a look around that and kill some time right guys moment of truth it's like pretty good news so um the guy in sunshine did the roadworthy which is 99 dollars um what's a roadworthy a roadworthy is basically like an mot in the uk go to victoria roads or whatever it is office and be like look here's my road with a certificate here's my transfer of ownership papers and then they charge you to transfer it into your name it's not usually much i'll let you know how much it is but the higher the value of the car i think they tax you more to transfer it so um i've put that this car is only worth like 1800 dollars so hopefully keep the cost down a bit um, but yeah, so the good news is it's only the brakes that need doing. What he's given me now is a pink slip, which has got basically everything that's wrong with it, which is brakes and I think wipers and brake fluid, which is nothing. So nothing massively structurally or mechanically wrong. Yes. So now I'm going to have to go. And, I don't have to get it fixed by him, but I have to take it back to him in seven days. Otherwise I'll have to pay again for another roadworthy. Wind up windows tinted windows might I add this is the dash all the relevant stuff radio four-wheel drive high low manual gears 
Oh yeah. This, I don't even, I don't know what this is. That's got a battery light on it, a battery picture on it, and that's got an oil thing on it. So I guess that's for that. Um, got our bars here for when we're doing some off-roading. And these are our lovely brown cushion seats. And what Ad's doing there is just take, we've got rid of the tires <laughs> out of the pack. So yeah, here's our back bit and the seats that Ad's just putting up there, they clip up, show them. They clip like that up on the side. So you can just fold them up out of the way. Look at this in our 1991 Mitsubishi Pajaro. Ah, look at that. <laughs> I'm so not convinced about this bed. Like, that's not going to be comfy. It's like that. I'm going to build one and it will be comfy. But this. Like, I guess if you were drunk and you could just lie down in the back, it'd be alright. But there's no way you can sleep on that. Nah, there is. Oh well. In you get then. I'm so not convinced. <sighs> Oh, come off it. Why properly? <laughs> Ad was like, oh my god, you can so sleep on that. Oh, you can definitely sleep on no, that. you can't. Your back's like, because of this bit, is like an inch or two higher than the rest. <laughs> so you just led like. I might not have said the back bit, but we don't know. Yeah, no. Yeah, Just thought I'd show you guys. <laughs> Oh, it rains all the time in England. It's always hot in Australia. Absolutely not. <laughs> this is coming into summertime in Victoria. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. That's such a lie. It's like half one in the afternoon. And look at this. That rain's cleared everything right up. <laughs> so it's like 27.30 today, buzzing. So as we've got the new whip, we've um, now driven about an hour and 15 minutes to Black Rock, which is, if you're looking at Melbourne on a map, this is gonna be backwards because I'm facing you, but you got Melbourne in the middle, and on the left of Melbourne, you've got the Great Ocean Road, and on the right, you've got St Kilda, then you've got uh, Brighton, then Sandringham, and Blackrock is further down. Um, so yeah, apparently it's a real nice beach, and there's also Half Moon Bay, which we're, we've just parked on just a, a side street, because the car park at the beach was $5 for an hour. Absolutely not, that's not happening. Um, so we're gonna park here and then walk down to Half Moon, and so many people have told me about these really nice fish and chips that they're, they have at Blackrock, this restaurant, so. I'm gonna do that later. And yeah, might get in the sea, chill on the beach. See what happens. Great, love that. We're at Half Moon Bay. Uh, been in the water, it's real flat, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of like a family beach, but it's pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if you can see out there, or I'm just showing you some people on the beach, but out there is a shipwreck this like shape just a few hundred meters out and you can go and have a little swim around that so um it's a bit far to swim out to but if you had a kayak or something or a paddle board it'd be good and just over here to the left of me um i'm just filming some people now <laughs> but when they move <laughs> they're not gonna move obviously um, but over to the left of me is this l this fish and chip place that people keep talking about. So we're just at the chip place. And um, just got really excited because we've just spotted vinegar. I've never been to a chip in Australia where they've got vinegar. And there it is. Spotted it. It's next to the soy sauce and it definitely says vinegar. Right. right, so I got two lots of calamari. Which I thought it was one calamari ring for a dollar. So I've got four. <laughs> Plus catch of the day in chips, which was $12.50.
and catch today is hokey, which she informed me was a uh, deep sea New Zealand fish. This is what we're looking at. Got the skin on. Oh, that's nice. I'm like flaky. I'm really meaty. Got a bit of fish on my lip as well. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Just got home from the first day of a new job and I'm melting. It's been like 32 today, so summer's coming, apparently. And I've been wearing these all day. These are safety boots, steel toe cups, and black leggings in a warehouse with no aircon, so I'm dripping. <laughs> but yeah, new job's good. It's like, basically I think I've got to sort out their warehouse, so that should keep me busy. Um, it's month temporary, but it's literally started like as soon as my other one finished, which is good. Um, so I'm going to cool down. <laughs> ah, so not ready for the heat. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys, as always. Give us a like or subscribe if you like the videos. I hope they're useful. Yeah, and I'll see you next week.